So, it, it, you know, it comes in the small type and that works, so... Yeah, we've got, our, we've got our 7.4 LiPo in it. Yeah, which fits easy, you know. And anything. this stock, it, it is fairly large enough. You'd probably be able to fit any standard small type, uh, nunchuck or anything like that. Um, but in general, I mean, it's just... It, it's a great replica, even if you're just looking for that wall hanger. But um, you see plenty of kids out on the field with these. He's, it, it's amazing how popular they are. I guess we can thank COD and... Bob yeah, and well, and I think AK in this case, because in the past... This gun was a thousand dollar gun. Back in the day, um, other companies didn't make an AEG version. It was only top, and uh, another company that made this in a totally different system because it was, you know, basically classic airsoft at that point. So they were really expensive. You know, eight hundred, a thousand dollars for a mini air for a LMG. So this has definitely led to its uh, proprietor. You know, it's uh, a lot more people have these now because they're a lot cheaper. A two seventy five is cheaper than most AEGs in the market themselves. So right. Now another nice feature this has is it does have the extending bipod if you saw me doing it. So you're not stuck with it just being one height. You can easily adjust it and get it to the height you want it, um, providing you with multiple levels of use. And it looks like possibly it has the ability to mount to a pencil mount too. That yeah. I wouldn't exactly trust the mount themselves, but it does look like it can. Yeah, so it's a possibility. If, if you have that ability and you have it mounted to your truck and you want to hold on for dear life while you're doing it, you probably can. Yeah. Um, now, uh, I don't recommend this for a kid that thinks he's going to be able to shoulder fire this. Yeah, it's um, a little heavy. Just a little Cypher little heavy. and I could probably get away with yeah, it running in game. We, we have the strength to, but uh, you get your kids out there that are 12 years old that love these guns. That yeah. they, This is all they want for well, Christmas. It's all they want for anything. It's, it's, it's a very heavy gun. And I mean, you're not going to want to shoulder that for more than yeah. a skirmish, essentially. Yeah, if I'm shouldering this, I have it here. I'm going to find a pot. A point to put a sling point on it, and wear like three slings. And use the bipod yeah. a lot. <laughs> and, uh, setting up on wall. up on walls everywhere you go. You know? It's like okay, I'm set, guys. Go All right, for it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll stay here. You got to remember, it is a support weapon, so it is designed to be uh, set up like that and be carried. It's not designed to be just be shoulder fired constantly. Yeah, no. If you're really looking for one to be shoulder fired constantly, you may want to look at the para, which is a shorter stock. And a shorter barrel ends about here. Yeah. Um, it's definitely that much more lightweight, but it is smaller and a little less unwieldy compared to this. Because this is, this is pretty big. Yeah, this in is... In general. This is... Yeah. <laughs> Can't say it enough. Uh, but in general, the cosmetics about it, I, I love it. Um, obviously, it doesn't have the correct flash hiders. Uh, even the secondary one that they provide in the box. an M16 flash hider. Yeah. <laughs> so we're like, okay, whatever. We're not sure why exactly it's orange. So you may want to uh, see about investing in some kind of uh, rebar breaker or wire cutter flash hider. Yeah, it's um, fancy. Please remember, if you do change flash hider, it's possible you can get a void warranty, blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. <laughs> it depends on where you buy the gun. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get this down range, and then we're going to show you some more detail on the gun, show you some close-ups of how things move, and uh, possibly the barrel take down for you. So we're here on the bench, I just want to show you some detail about it. Um, and you, you saw in the earlier in the videos, uh, Cypher showed you how this opens up, but um, just to give you a big detail on that, uh, there's two levers in the back, swings open. Uh, it's going to expose the top of your gearbox, access to your hop-up, um, this component opens. So there's some components that move. Now, uh, this isn't like your standard M4. Uh, if you need to do a motor adjustment, the actual stock has to come off. And there's a screw inside the body about in this area. Um, I know AirSplot offers a video and pictures on how to do it. So if you're concerned, if you're having issues, check them out. They'll be able to help you out with it. Now, putting this back, you have to pull the charging handle back to close it. Obviously, you don't want to close it on your arm. And then you're set to go. Um, now, as I said, we are running on an M10 bag. Let's take that out. We're not going to bother putting the box mag in because it's just a pain. Um, but your heat shield comes off. And then there is a lever here. Push in on the barrel. Pull the lever back. The whole barrel and hop-up assembly comes out. Okay, so this is if you're changing an inner barrel, putting a tight bore in it, anything like that. Uh, which you probably don't really need to put a tight bore in it because it's, believe me, it's pretty strong already. Um, we'll get more into that when we get back with Cypher. Uh, but it is just to show you, it's not the easiest thing to put back together. If you've never done it before, don't bother doing it. Because you may have some troubles with it. 
But let's go ahead and get back in the shop with Cypher and go from there. All right, after a successful trip down range, surprising trip down range. Yeah. Um, I was, it being a support weapon, I'm gonna, I was figuring it's gonna have a decent rate of fire. Uh, came in at nine rounds a second, which isn't bad. Uh, decent. It's not as fast as I was expecting it yeah. being a support weapon, but when we saw the FPS, that kind of told us it's coming in around 430. Yeah. 420, 430 is a little hot in general. So, the no, other AK guns are like that, are they? Uh, I, d I don't know. Hopefully we can find out some more in the future, but uh, this one, definitely, it's running pretty hot. Uh, the only thing we can attest it to is it's probably running like an L120 spring. Yeah. Um, if you want to get a higher rate of fire, there are a couple ways. A, you can run a higher power battery is one. It's already running a LiPo in this setup, which is a Well, that's the same as a 9.6, so it basically is exactly. the same as a stock battery. Um, the next thing you do, if the gun was upgraded for it, which it's not, so don't even bother with 11.1 until you've done upgrades. You. Um, another thing you can do, you can upgrade the motor. Um, still not going to do too much. Uh, the main thing you're going to want to do is change out that spring to a smaller spring. Maybe a 110 or a 100 or Yeah, something, some, like something like that to get your higher rate of fire. That's the first thing you want to do. Then, I mean, there's tricks you can short stroke pistons and yeah, all sorts of stuff. But uh, again, 430 is your average. That's an insanely high FPS. Four. That's strong. Yeah. Uh, strong. You're not going to be able to run this in any CQB fields. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I swear, it's, it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> totally um, heard of this. Hmm. <laughs> um, but as you saw, it, it does have some neat features when you you know, do the teardown. Do yeah, this assembly is really fun because it's, you know, kind of the real thing. Huh? Right, so... Not I mean, that you have any barrels to replace or whatever for it, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> uh, unless you contact, you know, Airspun and buy some out of their scrap area. You know, yeah. That, yeah. You know, they'll sell seven barrels anyway, so you're kind of screwed there. Yeah. Don't don't break your barrel. You'll be fine. Yeah. Don't screw with it at all because you really don't need to. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um... I, I myself, uh, I find the gun really pleasing. I've always been a fan of these support weapons. Uh, never to the point where I'm going to buy one because it's not the role I play in our games. It weighs like 10 pounds. Oh. <laughs> shipping weight, I actually looked at the lab tracking label. 25 pounds shipping weight. Ow. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's pretty heavy. Just a little heavy. Um, That's something you well, you kind of want to have this, but <laughs> break the grip off it. Yeah. Um... It's unwieldy of sorts. So if you're gonna buy it, you're gonna be in the back of the field. You're not gonna. You're gonna be camped up somewhere, clearing the field. Or you're a big ass dude who can yeah. just do it. <laughs> <laughs> a twenty four inch gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I would personally buy it just for my collection to have it. It's it's a great uh, prop. I mean, a lot of people buy these as wall hangers. Um, I'm personally gonna give it a seven because it functions really well. Uh, it has an incredible FPS. For what it is, yeah. Um, the price isn't too insane when you think. Pretty darn cheap. When you think about other guns of this nature, two seventy five is not bad, and especially when you combine it with places. Now, all the major air, airsoft companies, Evic, GI, Megasaur, and Airsplat, are all giving huge warranties. They're all doing great shipping. So, I mean, everywhere you go, you're going to get a good deal. We picked this up over to Airsplat. Uh, since we're local to them, it's a one-day turnaround for us. So we ordered it yesterday. We got it delivered today. So it was a great yeah, turnaround. Pretty but, easy. I mean, just but just you're, for, you're insured against lemons because everyone's got warranty policies on this thing. So it's you're pretty good well off, and you can probably get it modified in most of places too. So downgrade the spring if yeah. possible. <laughs> if you're looking for higher rate of fire, uh, you take it into the place or a legal it. gun because <laughs> you want to be under 400 presumably in yeah. most fields. Yeah, I know. Uh, Places like SC Village, they're not going to allow this thing there unless it's been downgraded because that's just running too hot. A little bit, just a little hot. And uh, what was your take on the gun, Cypher? Definitely great build quality for 275. I mean, the plastic isn't amazing. There's obviously the molding, some some bad molding in various places, so it's not amazing, but it's kind of like I wouldn't really care if I threw this gun on the ground during a game in the, you know, in the desert because I really don't. It's a very cheap gun for 275. That's a lot of metal. You know, it's more metal than most guns can buy, and, and for the price of any other generic M4 out there in the market, it's pretty good if you're going to try and fill a squad uh, automatic weapon role in, in any field game, which, you know, you really have to have a gun that is, you know, a saw, essentially. Yeah. Um, uh, some, some fields allow you to run just an M4 with a huge yeah. box mag, but yeah. they make you post up and you're not allowed to run. Right. In this case, it does come with a nice auto-winding box magazine. I 
can't really vouch for that, but obviously there are other aftermarket solutions that will probably fit the same because it does fit the standard M4 um, insert, essentially. Right. Now, um, if you do need replacement box mags, I know they sell the A and K replacement for about 50 bucks. Uh, Classic Army makes one. You're gonna pay about 150 for it. Um, but if you if you if that's if you need one. Um, one thing I know from experience with other people we've had had one of these guns, the motor tends to burn out on them. So that's something to keep in mind. That's why keep a backup M4 mag. It, yeah, it, the beauty of it too is that of course is that you can just have a high cat M4 magazine and you're still gonna hold you know 300 rounds or whatever. Right. You can carry five of those on your chest right. You know, yeah, and the beauty of it up. is you probably only need one of those mags anyway because you can just refill it in the field because the little port comes out right right about here. So you can just take a bottle and just dump more in there whenever you need more. No, no change in the mag. Out. Don't even screw with it at all. Yeah. So I'd actually probably find a more permanent solution for mounting that box to it if I could, because it's it a little flimsy. That, that was kind of disappointing that it was pretty flimsy, like all around flimsy. That'd probably just stick with M4 Max because they're readily available and cheap. Yeah, exactly. But uh, great, I'd pretty much keep this, uh, probably give this an 8 because it's really cheap for what it is. And I've come from a world where I've seen so many M249s out there in existence and M60s and they're ridiculously expensive because they're made by some brand who barely can afford metal, apparently. So Craft Apple Works or something. Yeah, like any of those you know major yeah. brands that make insanely expensive guns are very nice, obviously, but you don't want to take that out of the field and drop it. And yeah, you, they'd be like, like oh, show crap. Them. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they're screwed. They're show pieces at this point. It's yeah. like buying the Echo 1 minigun. You're not going to do that if you're going to be gonna, fielding it. No. I'm not going to spend a thousand dollar gun on the field myself. So it's definitely a very sound solution for actual gameplay, especially with readily available AEG parts to replace. Exactly. Definitely an 8 for me. Uh, another thing I found on this, it does have this removable heat shield, which comes off very easy. Um, just spring clips on. Um, if you look at it, uh, I know a lot of people are like, well it doesn't have a rail system, you can't put an optic on it. You can buy the M4 rail parts and mount it right through the heat shield. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes some custom work though, but it will work. Uh, it gives a, it'll be able to put a hollow side or something on there for you, so you can have that quick uh, target acquisition. Generally uh, not bad, because in most cases you're not really going to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, it, it, this is a spray and pray gun. Just, this, this is not fire. <laughs> oh, not really, no, but uh, it's it's pretty easy with the sights that come with it. They are fully adjustable sights for elevation and all that. It's not bad at all for sights, then generally speaking, it's a super easy adjustment. Yeah, it's it, the detail on it is really good, um, but that's a seven and a half overall. It's it's that's a good score, seven and a half out of ten. Um, if you can afford to get it, get it. It's it's a great gun. If you've been looking for that support weapon, been toying around with making your M4 into a support weapon, you want to save several hundred dollars, maybe. Yeah, and, and <laughs> not jump in the boat. <laughs> you don't want to have to just fork out to have the upgrades yeah. done and find a box mag you like. It's a great solution, and they they have three variants. There's a Mark One. The Mark II is pit, is here, and then there's a pair addition with a collapsing stock and a yeah, short barrel. Slides down there and a um, short barrel. Which, it, let us know if you want to see it. We'll see if we can do a video on those in the future. But um, in, in all honesty, it's just an outstanding gun. I was really pleased that we were able to pick this up and get this on, on the video for you. Uh, but for Cypher, I'm Dean. Remember, airsoft's not a crime. Play hard. Play safe.